what are you thinking <laughs> i don't know just trying to concentrate on the camera and see that he gets my focus after how long are you doing this photo shoot oh photo shoot i do at home hmm? but uh, i do it with my hair that i've bought which i think is my hair so what happened tell me the story of <laughs> i called you up uh for this role in the film yeah signature. it's it's uncanny you called me at a time when i'm just getting my infusion and the nurses are standing on me huh? and i know you're in the usa so when i see it go on a phone call usa number it's like he's calling me because it's urgent mm. you know because we don't call and chat hey hey what's happening yeah. so i said let me answer this so i take it and um, you start saying that you know i want you to do a film and i say you know uh I would love to do but can you wait and you said no 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 I can't wait why do you want me to wait and why is there so much noise in your house and I said I couldn't lie because all the nurses were around me so I said I'm not at home where are you so I'm like I'm That's in the not hospital. the way I talk <laughs> you talk huh? uh, I was nice to you So no <laughs> surprisingly ever since I lost my hair I was getting a lot of calls for you know like web series and this and that and I was like god why am I getting calls now when I don't even have hair So, so, so I didn't tell them. Okay, so you. But with you, I just can't like not tell you that I don't want to do your film. So, oh. I said okay, and you started rattling off the role, and he's like, "This is a really, and you like this, and you like this, and then you have to play this." And I was like, "Okay, are you going to do it?" And I was like, "Yeah, but no, but are you going to do it?" So I was like, "Okay, but I need to talk to you." Mm. So then I spoke to you in the night, and I told you that, "Is it okay if I come to the sets with a wig?" And mm. you said. Why would you come with a wig? And I said that I've lost my hair. I've just gone through treatment. <laughs> I don't know. It just gets emotional. That's okay. I think you're the most courageous person. I just want to thank you for being okay with it because I thought I should tell you that I'll be wearing a wig, and then you said. Why even a wig? Why can't you just do the film just as the way you are? And I said, I don't know if I have the courage. And he said, I think you do. <laughs> so I just think it's so nice. When did you so, discover that you have breast cancer? Uh, no, my breast cancer. I didn't have any symptoms. I do a, you know, like a yearly test for myself where I do my sonography and. blood test you know the yearly checkups it was an annual checkup where my person who was doing my sonography said i think you should go and get this checked with uh, dr mandar who's huh? an oncologist and i know about him so the minute i heard that luckily i had a friend with me i never take anyone with me when i do all these yearly checkups and so i went and met dr mandar and he said uh, we'll do a biopsy but it doesn't look anything hmm. these are cells which are precancer cells it's mm. called dcis and sometimes they become cancer sometimes they don't become cancer mm. so it's up to you do you want to remove them and i said no 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 i'm like take it out take it out so we did a biopsy and it didn't come cancer mm. it was negative but i still wanted to take it out so when we took it out and they did a biopsy of the entire cells that were removed and tissues they found tiny cell like a tiny portion of cells that had already become cancer mm. and so he said that when you were in this uh, surgery we put a port mm. so i still have the port here mm -hmm. you know this raised bit and then mm. you have these veins which are going in so they said we have to give you chemo and then i started crying and then my sister was like it's treatable doctors mm. saying it's 100% treatable mm. you know these are very very early cancers and mm. that's the one thing that You know, if you catch it early, cancer is treatable. And my sister was like, "Why are you behaving like a 17th century woman? Why are you crying? I mean, the doctor's like, good news, and you're crying." Mm. Well, I think we're just so terrified of the word cancer, mm. which is why I I didn't share it with my parents because they're so wonderful. They are like, I live with them, and they're like, especially my mother is like. She's very vulnerable. Last two years, she's been with nurses. So I said, I just went and told her, "Mummy, I have a lump in my breast, so I had it removed. That's why I didn't see you for ten days." And her blood pressure just went up and down, and she had 
she was passing out and then by the evening we had to take her to the hospital so what what do you feel now you shot for two days for the I, I feel so good yeah uh, yeah so is there what do you want to tell women who who discover suddenly because i think i learned from the women huh. i learned from a lot of women who were coming to chemo and they were like Oh, I'm going to work straight from here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to work? Doesn't your company give you an off during time? They said, no, no, they gave us off. It's completely paid for and all. Mm -hmm. But I don't like to sit at home. I like to work when I'm doing this. It just makes me feel normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like the, not the very brave one. I was like, everyone in my family was brave, like my friends and my sister and my brother. And I was like all the time weeping and crying till I met a little boy. I heard his voice. And uh, he gave me strength and I just looked at him and during my half chemo I meant just to make conversation with him and I said, Are you so much of your drugs? My drugs are so much. Are you so good from this? He said that. He Haan. was also getting treated Haan. for it. Are you so good from this? So I said, yes, but then I was like, you know, I was like, 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 So he says, I was like, I was like, I was like, उसके बाद तो मैं खेलता हूँ उसके बाद तो यू नो लाइक आई एम फाइन बैक you are one of them so thank you he's been so supportive oh my god thank you so much no, so much the, 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 all those people who are listening to yeah. this mahima choudhury she is the best thing and she is superb you need more people like this because no matter how many people you have holding your hand it's not enough during times like this so yeah i i am so grateful to so him all of you out. people now have to pray she's a fine she's fine by the way yeah i'm fine i'm yes. totally recovered yes देश दुनिया दाजा खबर हमने प्ले स्टोर तो डाउनलोड करो पंजाब की आवाज अजीत न्यूज ऐप हूँ तो अपना अजीत हर सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म के उपलब्ध है फेसबुक के उत्ते हमने लाइक तो फॉलो करो अजीत का ऑफिशियल पेज डेली अजीत तो हाँ ना ही दोस्तों पेज लाइक करने इनवाइट करना ना भुलना इना ही नहीं हिंदी के खबर वास्ते लाइक तो फॉलो करो साडा फेसबुक पेज अजीत समाचार हिंदी यूट्यूब के उत्ते वीडियो खबर देखने दे लिए हमें सबसक्राइब करो अजीत का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल अजीत वैब टीवी तो अपना अजीत हूँ ट्विटर से इंस्टाग्राम के उत्ते भी उपलब्ध है ट्विटर के उत्ते खबर के लिए फॉलो करो डेली अजीत तो इंस्टाग्राम के उत्ते खबर के नालो देखने दे फॉलो करो ब्लू टिक वाला साडा ऑफिशियल चैनल डेली अजीत इना ही नहीं अजीत दे वीडियो हूँ तुम एप्पल टीवी के उत्ते भी वेख सकते हो तो ही अजीत अखबार का डिजिटल एडिशन पढ़ने के लिए डाउनलोड करो अजीत ई पेपर ऐप तो अपना भरोसेयोग चैनल तो अपनी आवाज़ पंजाब की आवाज़ अजीत